Hey everyone, welcome back to Redefine Effects. So today I just want to show you the quickest, easiest way to generate some snow on top of your object. If you are already subscribed to the channel, it would be awesome if you could click on the bell and select all. This way you will get a notification every time I upload a new tutorial so you don't miss any. And as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you've been enjoying the tutorials. So first just go under helpers, tie flow and create a tie icon. So this will basically be the direction in which the snow is falling down. So if you want there to be like a snowstorm, maybe blowing in from the right, then you will just rotate it like this. Right, but I just kind of want the snow to be falling from the top. So I just leave the icon on top like this. And you can just create a standard tie flow. And we can just do birth and maybe start at zero and end at frame 10 for a total of, let's do maybe 30,000 particles to start. Now let's just add the position raycast operator. Now the raycast origin object is gonna be the tie icon. So I'll just say, click on none and select this icon here. And then the target object will be the torus knot. So I'll just do pick and pick the torus knot. So basically the way this works, you can imagine that this is a light source. So maybe this is the sun and it's casting sun rays on an object. So wherever the light can touch the geometry, that's where the particles will be born. And basically whatever is in the shadow or wherever the light cannot go, you're not going to get any particles. So I'll just go to frame 10 so we can see all of the particles. And now what you can do it just to add more detail is add the spread operator. This will basically allow some of the particles to be on top of each other. As you can see, they sort of move in all directions. Some of them go up, some of them go down, but that's fine. And this will just add some uneven surface to the snow. So at this point, you can just go under standard here, tie flow and create the tie measure. And I want to say pick and pick our tie flow here. And it will immediately mesh all the particles and just change the voxel filtering here to mean. And you can play with these different types to see what they do. You can also play with the radius multiplier here to increase or decrease the amount of snow. And you can also play with the voxel size, which basically controls the resolution. So you can see as I increase the size of the voxels, you get smoother snow. As I decrease it, you get a lot more detail, sort of a bumpy snow. Now, as far as the snow material, I recommend website vraymaterials.de. And I found this snow by KF. So you can just search for that. And that's a very nice snow material that gave me this result here. So I'll just apply my snow material here, my black material to the torus knot. Unhide my lights and the V-Ray plane and just do V-Ray IPR. And here you go. This is our snow. So super simple to do. As always, if you found this helpful, I would appreciate if you could hit the like button, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.